Recent heavy rainfall coupled with spring tides has resulted in several sections of New Amsterdam and its environs being flooded, prompting the Region 6 RDC to seek the assistance of the government to tackle the issue. Sasha Ramsaran reports. The recent spring tide coupled with heavy rainfall left sections of New Amsterdam and surrounding villages under several feet of water. The largest amount of rainfall occurred on Thursday night leading into Friday morning where a total of 12 inches of rainfall was recorded. We had over 12 inches of rainfall on last Thursday night coming into Friday morning. Um, it fell actually for the entire night and almost every single area in Burbies in region was um, underwater. Of course, as you know, if we have 12 inches of rainfall in one night, it is not the water will not recede within a day or two because our gravity system, on which we depend very heavily on, takes out only about 2 inches of water in 24 hours, which are the cocos and the sluices. And so the sluices and so that um, we had a little headaches with, a lot of problems with, we are trying to get them sorted out and we are also putting tubes and so in areas to um, aid in terms of getting water out of the land. Uh, we also have problems with uh, a few of the outfalls, but um, you know, the system is as such these days that things take more time to get done than it used to be before. Regional Chairman Mr. David Armagan admitted that the region does not have the resources available to fully carry out restoration projects. Therefore, they have asked the Ministry of Infrastructure and the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, NDIA, for assistance. We have very limited resources. We don't have too many machines on the ground working, and then we are not hiring machines because we don't have enough money available. So we are asking NDIA and the Ministry of Public Infrastructure too to assist um, in the region because we alone here cannot be able to um, deal with the magnitude of the problems we are facing right now. And so NDIA has been coming to our assistance as well as um, the Vice Chairman has been able to get some assistance too from Ministry of Public Infrastructure through the city defense system to make sure that we can be able to clear some of these outfalls. And, and, and hopefully we can get them done speedily so that uh, we have machines operable in the East Bank of Burbies. We have machines in Blackbush Polder. We have machines in some of the other areas to working. Areas such as Sanford and Barakara have been severely affected by the flooding situation. Some fellows from Barakara were here and they are telling me that Barakara is also should be declared a disaster area right now because Barakara is underwater and they are asking for flood relief because they have seen relief going to other regions and they are asking if we, um, so I'm going to call CDC to see what assistance they can give to the people in some of these areas that have lost um, virtually all the food stuff. Um, and if in the farming communities too, where you don't have uh, cash crop growing and so on, they will have to get assistance to get food stuff and so in. During the rainy season, residents are being advised to keep their drains clean and ensure that their surroundings are garbage free so as to deter the spread of diseases and to ensure that the water recedes off the land at a faster rate. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.